Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Microsoft Outlook email program to access your Gmail email account via the POP3 protocol. Uh, if you're looking to set up uh, via IMAP, I've got another guide on that coming up. Alright, so for this guide, all you're going to need is your Gmail address, which is your email address, and password which is the same details you use to log into Gmail and you're going to need a, a version of Microsoft Office installed on your PC so 27, 2010 or 2013 uh, and a pen and paper just to take some notes now before we can actually uh, set up Outlook you've got to um, log into Gmail and change some settings to enable POP so I'll log into mine and uh, you log into yours. Okay, on your uh, main page there, top right hand corner, we want to hit the settings icon or the gear icon and then choose the settings menu item. Now, out of the, the tabs up the top there, we'll choose the forwarding and pop IMAP item. Now, on this page, we're only concerned with the pop download heading and the two settings there, number one and number two. Now, number one, uh, there's three options. If you want to disable POP, you can disable it, but uh, the first two are the ones we're uh, concerned with. Enable POP for all mail. Now, if you've had a Gmail account for a long time and uh, all of a sudden you've decided to uh, uh, hook it up to Outlook, um, it will download all your mail so if you've got like four gigabyte well you're going to be there for a while so um, I would strongly suggest that if, if that's the case just choose the second one there which will um, for, forward any mail that uh, arrives from this point onwards alright if it's a brand new email, uh, Gmail address then you, you're quite safe to uh, uh, choose the all, my, all mail option or if it's only a six month old address or something if you haven't got much mail okay so I'm going to choose the second option there the uh, number two is when messages are accessed with pop in other words when they're accessed with you with your Outlook program you've got four options there now I choose the the second option mark Gmail's copy is read and that uh, helps me figure out if I if I have to log into Gmail from a, a a different computer it helps me keep track of what's relevant and what's not uh, and it also keeps everything in the uh, in Gmail as well so I choose the second one that's recommended uh, once you've chosen your settings just scroll down and make sure you click the save but changes button now the first one I'll take you through is a, a new installation of Microsoft Office and an outlook that's never been used or set up before okay it's just a little bit different that's all so I'll take you through that first the difference is we have this startup page alright so if you if you've got that in front of you click next and we choose yes to configure an e email account and then we're on the auto account setup page alright now we want to hit the manually configure server settings or additional server types down the bottom and then click next we want the internet email first option okay this is the page we're on the, we want internet email settings page alright so I'll take you through how to access that page in 2007 now uh, you hit the tools menu and then account settings and then just there you see the new button so we click that and we choose Microsoft Exchange POP3 IMAP or HTTP option, the first option. And then when we hit the auto account setup page, we hit the manually configure server types down the bottom. Again, internet email, and then we're on that page that we were after. Now, 2010, 2013, a little different, uh, a little bit easier actually. Uh, hit the file tab make sure the info tab is selected and then we hit the add account button there 
Okay, uh, we hit the auto account setup page, hit, uh, click the manually configure server settings down the bottom, click next. Leave it on internet email option, click next, and you're on the page we're after. Okay, on to the settings now. Uh, obviously, in the name section, we put your name, and in email address, we put your Gmail address. Okay, uh, choose POP3 for the account type. Now, the incoming mail server for Gmail is POP gmail.com or lowercase outgoing server is smtp dot gmail dot com now with the username it comes uh, uh, outlook pre-fills it with just the first part of your of your uh, email address we need the full e email address so just complete that there which is at gmail.com and then you pop in your password which I'll just get in my clipboard now before oh, we'll go through the rest of the settings Le leave uh, remember password checked do not under any circumstances uh, check the SPA uh, because uh, very few servers support that and it just causes problems in my experience. Um, we leave the checkbox at test account settings by clicking the next button. We leave that checked and I would suggest having a new Outlook data file. Um, it just keeps things uh, separate in the in the Outlook store folder. Uh, so that if, if uh, there's any emergencies you can uh, tell which email address is which and which data is whose. Now before we click next we've got to uh, customize some more settings so we go to the more settings button and we hit the outgoing server tab. Now we want to check that checkbox which is my outgoing server SMTP requires authentication and we want the first option selected which is use same settings as my incoming mail server all right uh, connection we leave it at LAN and then we hit the advanced tab now uh, Gmail requires uh, SSL uh, on both ends for incoming and outgoing um, so put in the incoming server pop 3 port uh, we want to put port 995 alright and just under that you'll see that this server re requires an encrypted connection SSL uh, make sure that's checked now outgoing server SMTP um, if uh, obviously you, you've got uh, either 27 2010 or 2013 that all supports they all support uh, TLS or start TLS encryption so in this port put 587 which is the latest and greatest port uh, uh, 465 is a little bit uh, uh, outdated now and it's been uh, superseded okay under the under that you'll see the use the following type of encryption encrypted connection and uh, just choose auto there all right uh, click on OK and then click next and what will happen then is uh, Gmail uh, sorry Outlook will test the settings so it's uh, it'll test both incoming and outgoing and outgoing it'll actually send a test email and message and what you're after is that two green ticks if you have two green ticks you're all done it's uh, you can click close and uh, you're, you're all finished. Uh, if you've got any red crosses there, either one or two red crosses, you're going to need to either check your incoming server settings or your outgoing server settings. So if you have to, just go through this guide again and, and double check that everything's uh, uh, as, as I've put in here, uh, specifically the ports too, because uh, they can be messed up. So uh, click close to that 
and you'll get to your congratulations screen. Click finish and you're all done. Okay, on to the settings now. Uh, obviously in the name section we put your name and in email address we put your Gmail address. Okay, uh, choose POP3 for the account type. Now the incoming mail server for Gmail is pop.gmail.com or lowercase. Outgoing server is smtp.gmail.com Now with the username it comes uh, uh, Outlook pre-fills it with just the first part of your of your uh, email address. We need the full email address so just complete that there which is at gmail.com and then you pop in your password which I'll just get in my clipboard. Now before oh, we'll go through the rest of the settings. Le leave uh, remember password checked. Do not under any circumstances uh, check the SPA uh, because uh, very few servers support that and it just causes problems in my experience. Um, we leave the checkbox at test account settings by clicking the next button. We leave that checked and I would suggest having a new Outlook data file. Um, it just keeps things uh, separate in the in the Outlook store folder uh, so that if, if uh, there's any emergencies you can uh, tell which email address is which and which data is whose. Now before we click next we've got to uh, customize some more settings so we go to the more settings button and we hit the outgoing server tab. Now we want to check that checkbox which is my outgoing server SMTP requires authentication and we want the first option selected which is use same settings as my incoming mail server. All right. Uh, connection we leave it at LAN and then we hit the advanced tab. Now uh, Gmail requires uh, SSL uh, on both ends for incoming and outgoing. Um, so put in the incoming server POP3 port uh, we want to put port 995. All right. And just under that you'll see that this server re requires an encrypted connection SSL. Uh, make sure that's checked. Now outgoing server SMTP um, if uh, obviously you, you've got uh, either 27, 2010 or 2013 that all supports, they all support uh, TLS or start TLS encryption so in this port put 587 which is the latest and greatest Port uh, uh, 465 is a little bit uh, uh, outdated now, and it's been uh, superseded. Okay, under the under that, you'll see the use the following type of encryption encrypted connection, and uh, just choose auto there. All right, uh, click on OK, and then click Next. And what will happen then is uh, Gmail. Uh, sorry, Outlook will test the settings, so it's uh, it'll test both incoming and outgoing. And outgoing, it'll actually send a test email and message. And what you're after is that two green ticks. If you have two green ticks, you're all done. It's uh, you can click close, and uh, you're you're all finished. Uh, if you've got any red crosses there, either one or two red crosses, you're going to need to either check your incoming server settings or your outgoing server settings. So if you have to, just go through this guide again and, and double check that everything's uh, uh, as, as I've put in here, uh, specifically the ports too, because uh, they can be messed up. So uh, click close to that and you'll get to your congratulations screen. Click finish. And you're all done.